The media is controlled by three regulatory boards, Ofcom, the ASA and the BBFC. Ofcom is the main regulatory board and was formed in 2003 as a result of the Communications Act. It is government funded and was announced to the public in the Queen's speech in 2001. Ofcom took on the role of five other regulatory bodies. These were the Broadcasting Standards Commission, the Independent TV Commission, the Office of Telecommunications, the Radio Authority and the Radio Communications Agency. Ofcom regulates services such as TV, radio, mobile phone companies and fixed line telecoms. In 2011, it also took responsibility of the postal service. The BBFC was founded in 1912 and is responsible for regulation of film and video games in the UK. It works with an age rating system so that appropriate films are shown to appropriate audiences. The ASA was founded in 1962 and is responsible for advertising shown on TV, radio and online. Regulation protects audiences from harmful or offensive material. It ensures that TV shows are aired on appropriate channels at appropriate times and that they reach their intended audience. Regulation ensures that films have suitable age ratings and that correct cuts have been made to films with inappropriate or offensive content. It controls the content of advertising so that it is not offensive or inappropriate. Regulation also aims to ensure that people do not have their privacy invaded. No, newspapers and magazines are self-regulated. This has caused recent controversy surrounding the News of the World phone hacking scandal. Some celebrities, including Hugh Grant, are calling for tougher regulation laws on newspapers following the Leveson inquiry. Hugh Grant, the British actor who made his name in Hollywood for movies like Four Weddings and a Funeral and About a Boy, has taken his fight about media law to Europe. He's been meeting ministers in Brussels there to spread the word about his first-hand experience of the British phone hacking scandal. And he's calling for EU-wide media regulation. He's in town today for the Pan-European Forum on Media Pluralism and New Media. And last night he had an audience with Neely Kurz, the EU's top media regulator. I think uh, anyone who's had their phone hacked, uh, whether it's me or whether it's much more importantly, um, you know, some vulnerable person, as I said before, perhaps the family of uh, someone killed in a terrorist atrocity, uh, which has happened in Britain, I think the reaction is the same as one of violation. It's like finding a burglar in your house and you're naturally angry. Could all regulatory boards operate under one single framework? Would it benefit us by Ofcom being independent from the government? Or do we need to change our regulation system at all? <laughs>